So this is what I did. I separated all the shirts by the color and then I put them all into the same size. As you can see here. So that way when I'm folding them up and packaging them, putting them into the bins, it's a lot easier. So what I'm doing is, is I'm putting all the medium, the larges, the extra large and the 2XL all in separate bins. So that way, once I'm all done with this process, I'm gonna put little labels on for each size with the custom skew on it. What I do, got the hanger out of it. Another reason I do this is because I get the consistency of folding these. So if I were to do, leave them on a hanger and then fold them up as I sold, one, the hanger is going to take up a lot more room than having it in these small little bags. And two, I get a lot more consistency when doing them all at one time. So, it will eventually in the long term, it's gonna save me a lot more time bagging them now than it will be bagging one at a time. Now, smaller ones go into these bags a lot easier. I could have went with a larger bag, but I figured I wanted consistency when I'm storing these things. So I've already gone through a hundred bags of these. So I still have about probably 30 shirts left still to fold. So that tells me I purchased well, over, I knew I purchased well over a hundred. I wasn't quite sure, but it's looking about 130 shirts. Different sizes from medium all the way to 2XL. So got another package of these I bought 500 of these they come in a hundred a pack now i could have went with the ones that have the suffocation warning label on them but ebay doesn't require them if you do amazon amazon does require it another reason for putting these into a clear poly bag other than it'll make it easier when pulling the item less storage take up is it gives a much better presentation to the buyer that means you actually cared for this item and took care of it. Now, if you notice, some of these have a corner sticker of $2. I don't know if you saw some of the other ones I was pulling off. I pulled probably majority of them off before, but some of them had a corner sticker of $5, $2, I went into Walmart, they had these on a clearance rack, and I tracked down the manager and I said, if I bought all of the Realtree shirts, would they do them for a dollar each? She looked at them all, thought about it, and said, sure. So I only paid a dollar for each of these shirts. Another point to make is when you're an actual reseller, the money is not on the sale. The money is actually, where you make your money is actually on the buy. That means is you want to get it as cheap as possible and obviously sell it for the highest price you can get for it based upon current market value. So when you get things cheap enough, you can actually undercut the market and get your items to push out a lot quicker.
I've got over a hundred shirts that I'm having to fold up. I baggage them. That way it makes it easier once I list these things and start selling them. All I've got to do is just pull them. Some people say it's probably a waste of time. I figured in the long run, it's going to save me time. So you either save time in the front or you save it in the long run. I think these are going to sell. It's going to take a while to sell them all. Once everything's all done and they're baggaged, labeled and in inventory, then I don't have to worry about them anymore. And I don't have to worry about folding them, packing them. All I got to do is just grab the bag, put it into a poly mailer, slap a label and I'm done. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think I actually putting too much effort in the beginning doing this or how would you do it? Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I've actually printed out these little labels and I wish I had the labels as I was packing these. It would have made it so much easier. But what I'm doing now is putting the stickers on them. And the reason I'm putting the size stickers on these is because as these start selling, I might start combining the totes and it'll make it a lot easier to find the size that I need. So now what I have to do is I'm pulling the shirts and just to verify the sizes, if I can, I try to pull this down. If not, I'm reopening it back up again. Double check the size, it is an XL. And so now what I'm doing is I'm actually inventorying these. So that way, once I get them all inventoried and verified, what I'll end up doing is doing a variant listing but how I'm going to do the variant listing, I'm going to do each color as a separate variant listing and do the variant listings with each of the sizes. Now most of these are the correct ones in each of the bins that I put in. I did a medium, large, XL, 2XL. I did find in the large bin I actually had some XLs in there, so it's a good thing by double checking these, so I make sure I get all my quantities correct. Okay, so I'm downstairs. I have all of the shirts, one of each one of them, hanging up here, so I can do photos of them. I'll take the first one by the way that is all stuff from high bid that I still have not done a video and I have not even unloaded yet Okay, so I'm here at my photo booth. I have two of them. I have one upstairs, which I do for smaller items, and this one here I mainly use for larger item and clothes. So let's get this laid out. Okay, now that we have it laid out, we're gonna go ahead and take some photos. like to get one of the inside
tag, but in this case it's printed on the shirt. Okay, flip it over. Make sure we have the tag in the photo. Now we have photos and we'll go ahead and go upstairs and do a variation listing. Okay, so when I create a, a variation listing, the first thing I do is I go find the item, find a similar comp, and I'll go ahead and create a draft. So I've already done that. So let's go over to our drafts. And here it is right here, Realtree Wave 3. So we'll resume draft. So we got our title. Next thing is right here, variations. We want to create variations. It puts two standard ones in here. We don't need those. So we'll delete those. We want to create attributes. So we're going to add our own. We're going to say shirt color, save. We'll add a, another one. We'll create our own. This time we'll say shirt size. So we'll go ahead and add some photos for the default photos. So now we're gonna come in and actually put quantities. So the large ones, I've got my list right here from the inventory. On the light blue, I have a zero, but on the dark blue for large, I have three. Okay, we come down to our inventory here. Now, on the extra large for the white blue, we have four. Okay, so we'll just leave it at that right now. Now we wanna do our prices, and I just do all the same price. Since most of these are probably gonna get caught up in a sale, I'm gonna go ahead and list these a little bit higher. So I'm gonna do 15.85 on all of them, 15.85. We'll save and close. Okay, so I got it to save. One thing I also like to do is I like to go ahead and promote my listings. Some people have different opinions about this, but I like to move this inventory out quickly as possible. I also offer volume pricing discount. So I want to check that. If you notice right here in the promotions, it does have the volume discount. So let's go ahead and click on it. So here is our listing. So now we can come in here and we select our color. We'll select dark blue. And you see there, it changes to the dark blue. Now we can actually scroll through. We'll switch to the light blue. Again, we can scroll through the photos and we can check what shirt sizes we have. So we have an extra large and we have a 2XL. Okay, so this is how I ship the shirts out. 
depending upon the quantity that the buyer bought, if they bought one, I can ship it in this small poly bag. But if they order two, it's a little bit hard to jam two of these in the smaller eBay poly bag. So I've got a slightly larger one that I can easily fit two in. Now when it gets up to, and that still keeps it going out first class. Once it gets up to three of them, I can get three into a priority mail padded flat rate, but I've had one order where the buyer bought four of these shirts. I could not get four of them put in here. So what I ended up doing It was actually cheaper for me to use a regional box A and I was able to get four shirts in here and it actually was cheaper than shipping with the priority. So it just depends on priority package you want to use. So in this case here, I've got two shirts going out. So what I will do, first thing is I grab one of my thank yous Sign it. Pull that off. Fifteen point four ounces, so I can still get this to go out first class.